haven't done one of these videos for a while um, but today is going to be a chill, cosy, kind of write-in focused weekend because um, I actually have a bit of spare time so I'm just going to crack on with some writing. Um, if you don't already know, um, I love to write, I love fantasy, folklore, uh, history, all those kind of things. Um, I do have a book out already, um, this is a short story collection. I couldn't find the, the one without the not for resale author copy thing on, I know that's bad. I should have more copies in that somewhere but um, this is my book, it's called Oaken Tongue and it is just a essentially a short story collection. All of the stories are inspired by nature, folklore and the landscape and that kind of thing. I try to subvert some of the kind of fairy tale folklore uh, writing that we know and have kind of like the light and dark of nature blended together. So there's um, people who are raised by wolves, we've got troll kings, um, people who turn into hares, dragons with sentience, like all these different types of things and they're quite short stories but that's my book um, if you're interested in weird little stories. Um, I wrote this book for you, I wrote it for all the strange people out there. I always have a link in the description but that's just for some context. So I brought that one out last year and now my big goal is to write and publish a full-length novel. So this is a uh, quite a bit more challenging than the short stories. I feel like short stories, I find them quite easy to write to be honest, they just kind of fall out of me. A novel length book is a lot more challenging and once I started doing it properly I just thought wow I can't believe there are so many books in the world <laughs> because this is tough. I'm not going to go into great detail about everything because I do want to try to get this traditionally published um, so I'm not going to tell all the details but um, it is a, it is a fantasy, full-length adult fantasy novel and um, I had the idea for a couple of years ago and um, I guess writing this first attempt at a novel has been a learning experience in the writing process itself um, so I feel like I've learned a lot um, about how I like to work in terms of outlining um, all these kind of things and I figured out that I need an outline <laughs> quite detailed otherwise I just get lost and stuck on certain points and I can't progress so I need to know where the story is going. So anyway I, I wrote the whole thing, drafted the whole thing um, and then I put it down for a while and then I just realised that I don't think it's long enough and it doesn't have enough um, voices coming through. I wrote it from first person perspective which is always a challenge because obviously you're limited by that world view and um, you can only show what that character is experiencing. Um, so I've decided to rewrite it from third person so I can show just weaved throughout more perspectives and also one of the characters I'm gonna take out of just the first character's perspective and give them their own um, chapters and their own point of view and have the stories kind of link up at a certain point. So that's what I'm thinking, obviously that's a big job. It's essentially rewriting everything, which is fine. Um, so that's that's the realisation that I came to. So that's what I'm working on at the minute. Um, I think I'm going to just map out the two characters' storylines and how they intersect. The story is really inspired by um, classic epic fantasy but also historical fantasy. Um, there's a lot of kind of dark magic in it um, and yeah that's the vibe. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to do a bit of outlining first to try and get my head around where these characters are going and where they intersect. Um, to be honest with you this is probably going to take me hours and hours and hours of just sitting there going seven in space so I'll try to just cut to the chase with the the video um, but yeah hopefully you find this nice and cozy and it's a good video for you.
I'm just using this um, beach sheet. Um, I hope that it's okay. I know the screen goes a bit weird sometimes when recorded. This is by Lauren Kay and she's got loads of free stuff on her website. And Save the Cat is basically a beat sheet that was created by uh, Blake Snyder, I think. And it's basically just like the key beats of the story and how to make a satisfying story. So she's got a quite cool where you can just put like word count or page count and what you kind of want to get to. And then the beats along here, so opening image, setup, catalyst, this kind of thing. I've split this into two so I can look at the two characters side by side. Um, and she's also got an example which is A Court of Thorns and Roses down here as well. So you can just see like the main sort of story beats. So I'm just going to do that to make sure I've really got everything crystal clear. And the, yeah, just fill it in with the two characters. I'm just hijacking this video for a second to give a bit of an announcement. Um, it's a very exciting announcement to me. Hopefully it's exciting to you as well. Um, but as many of you may know from just different YouTube videos where I've talked about this and I've talked about it a bit on Instagram as well, I just keep getting more and more disillusioned with platforms like Instagram where it used to be a really lovely place and the creators that are on there are still wonderful. I've met some of my best friends on Instagram, there are some amazing artists and writers and just really cool people doing really cool things and they haven't done anything and in fact they've probably been forced to do more and more but the platform itself as in Meta is just I think it's just an absolute shambles now Um so I'm just really, really sick of it. Every time I've I've been going on, it's just, it's, I just feel like so overstimulated and I'm just getting screamed out with all these reels. It doesn't give me enough control over my feed. It's constantly showing me adverts or posts that I just don't wanna see. The explore page is a mess. It's all just a mess and I know that there's like, people are literally spending billions of pounds to keep us um, stuck on these apps. And you used to get quite good reach and engagement and it was it was like fairly easy to grow if you put the work in you just can't get that now and it just feels completely pointless so that leads me to the exciting announcement which is that i have started a sub stack and some of you might have seen this already because i did make a post on instagram and i moved over my previous mailing list subscribers onto Substack. Um, and if you don't know what Substack is, it's basically like a blogging platform. Um, it has a little bit of a social element, which so far I've been really enjoying. Um, so basically I have my own little page on there and then I can post all sorts of different types of content, mainly blog posts, but you can do video, podcast and that sort of thing as well. Um, and I'm going to be posting um, a lot more on there and I'm really, really looking forward to it. I've drafted so many posts already and I'm just, I've just been really loving writing them. On the Substack, I'm going to be sharing um, similar to what I do on this channel, but it'll allow me to go more in depth about some things that don't really fit on YouTube or Instagram. So first of all, I can share more actual fiction writing, so short stories, poetry, um, I want to talk more about history, so the trips that I go on, um, I can write more reflectively about them. Nature, journaling and memoirs, folklore, um, fantasy writing, and then just like overall enchanted magical life sort of stuff. So honouring the seasons and the old ways and, and this sort of thing. Because um, I have so many reflections that I have all the time and I want somewhere to be able to record them and for other people to engage with if they want to. So that's what I'm going to do and well I have done it, <laughs> I've made it and I'm really really excited about it and just from posting on Instagram I've had such a lovely response already so thank you so much if you have signed up I really appreciate it. So you can subscribe and it's basically like a mailing list so you just put your email in then every time a new post goes out um, you'll get an email with um, the post basically so you can read it and um, so if you want to sign up and just be a free email subscriber then go for it um, I have also put a paid option on there as well because I plan to release extra content videos and writing that is just behind that is just for paid subscribers and I've been thinking about this for ages and ages of what I can do to offer a little bit more um, 
and I toyed with Patreon for ages but if I'm honest with you I'm not a huge fan of the platform I don't like that you can't like customize your own page enough and have things categorized like I want different themes and topics that sort of thing um so that's why I decided to go with Substack um instead of Patreon um so I've just put it as cheap as I could get it um but if you if you do want to support what I do then that would be massively appreciated as well um first things first I'm gonna get an updated camera with um, an external microphone this one can't have one um, so it's been a bit of a pain in terms of videos that I want to go and record outside um, it's yeah I've tried to have a few workarounds but it's been a bit of a nightmare so that's going to be the first thing that I'll fund from the substack um, and save up for a camera and an external microphone so I can go out into historical places and nature and stuff and talk to you there as well and not have to worry about the wind um so yeah that's that really that's the exciting announcement i'm really really looking forward to it um i've really enjoyed writing stuff already um i have so many thoughts that i just want to put out there and share with you and um hopefully i will see you there um obviously i'll put a link in the description so you can go and have a look and see if you want to join me on there and that would be massively appreciated if you did want to so that was it that's the announcement i'm gonna go now and you can get back to the cosy writing vlog. now a new day um this is the vibe of the day messy not perceived by other people is the vibe of the day because i will not be perceived by other people yesterday i managed to get a lot of outlining done um and it involved really getting into some of the characters backgrounds and loads of little tiny details in terms of like politics and religions and all these little things just to make it more well-rounded so I did a lot of that and then I managed to do some actual writing so I got um, a decent amount done yesterday I got a couple thousand words done um, then today I woke up thinking yeah let's write let's do this thing and it just wasn't it just hasn't been working so I'm like okay I've taken a step back again um, gone through the outline again and um, and updated some of the character sheets so I found even like images on Pinterest and stuff like that just to just so I've got like a cheat sheet of everything. I keep everything in a spreadsheet by the way. Um, I don't know why I've always kept everything in my life in spreadsheets, like everything. Um, so I have like a tab for world building and I have like all the different things so I can keep track of like the history, magic, all that kind of stuff. Um, characters, uh, all the beats and that kind of thing. So that's what I've been doing. Um, also exciting news, um, I got this this notebook which is so mystical. Um, because I wanted a notebook that I could um, basically whenever I'm reading or like just yeah just thinking generally I always have little ideas or little thoughts of like oh that's cool I love how they've done that or how could I do that um, and I never write them down like sometimes I put them in notes and stuff but I wanted like a nice notebook and it's like a bullet journal so I can draw as well um, and just yeah just do that kind of thing I got this weird thing with notebooks where if it's a nice one like if it's pretty then I I just still have this fear of writing in it I don't know why I'm just like I can't write anything ugly in here even though actually I can write anything ugly in here because it's ten pound at the end of the day so I can just buy another one when this runs out or whatever so it's not that big of a deal anyway just wanted to show you the nice notebook um so yeah that's what we're doing I'm gonna try and do some writing now because I've done um yeah just a lot because i went through all the outline again so i just really want to actually get some stuff written now the secondary character is proven more difficult to write than i had imagined i think because 
they are nothing like me in terms of gender, age, background, everything. So it's quite challenging, um, but I'm really trying to get into their head and yeah, tell their side of the story. So wish me luck. Um, let's try and get some actual writing done. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it here for this video. Um, I've written about 6,000 extra words um, and the main bit of work, sorry if you can hear the washing machine in the other room by the way, the main bit of work really has been mapping out this additional character, well not additional, they've always been there, but mapping out their storyline in more detail and making sure that they go through the same kind of growth um, as the other character and just their stories complementing each other and coming together at the right time. And there's been a lot of little extra details that I've had to try and include so that's been quite challenging um, but I think I'm pretty much there with the key plot points for this character now um, and then I'm just starting to like go through and just delve into them a little bit more they're very very different from me um, so that's quite a challenge to write so I've been doing a lot of research on various aspects of their personality and life and interests and things so um, that's where I'm at at the moment and I actually did a poll asking uh, what kind of videos people would want to see and this was the least voted for one. This was like, I'm pretty sure it was like 4% of the votes but I just thought I'm going to do it anyway because I want to. Um, so I hope you found it interesting anyway or at least relaxing. Um, and yeah, let me know if you do want to see more things about writing as well because um, I'd love to make more videos about it. But yeah, I'm going to leave that video here for today. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye.